I wanted to do things a bit differently for um, Addy Said Gaming Time when the green screen will tell all of the information and I'm going to be super lazy as possible when it's in this. Welcome to Addy Said Gaming Time. It's been a while. In March, Star Wars Battlefront 2 had two updates. One major and one not. The major one was the new progression system plus bus, um, plus Cloud City from Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Now, if you don't know, this map got originally added back in the original Battlefront game in 2015 with when they added Lando and a couple of other stuff. Now, this new progression system is so much better for some people. I don't mind both progression systems. Like on one of them, I was able to get 9,000 battle points, and I guess, well, I'm just, you know, getting good. And I don't take this game as seriously as other people would. It's not, I play it just for fun. I don't get angry uh, uh, at all. It's just how it goes, and if you keep dying, well, you just have to get better. It's just a realization because EA can't please everyone. And then also, um, the second little update was some new details and updated stuff for different characters, boring stuff to me. But then they also had um, a new skin for an officer called Wayan. Now, uh, by now I think the challenges may have ended, but if that's ended then you've got the Han Solo Hoff skin appearance. Where you can complete certain amount of challenges, multiplayer only, and get the skin by a crate you do so that's good now they've done Hoff Leia and Hoff Luke so if you've got those well done I haven't and I have failed I don't think I'm ever going to get that but April they're going to be bringing out another bigger update called the, called the customization they will be for characters hopefully this will apply for heroes and villains and any other skins that we've got now um, like for instance the Hoff stuff, hopefully they can put that back into the challenges or just give us it for free. So yeah, like they didn't have to do free updates, they didn't. They could have done free DLC, I know that always works. So big news, in um, Incredibles are ha having their own Lego video game, yay! With two of the films, the first one that came out a couple of years ago and the newer one for this year. So Lego Incredibles, the game, will be coming out on the 13th of July, which will be on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. We don't know anything about iMac, which is sad, because, well, iMac should be involved a bit more. But it's quite exciting to see that Lego is coming back with a good one, and not coming back with, I don't know, Lego Worlds or Lego City. Like, when they did Lego Worlds, I think they were literally trying to be Minecraft, but in a way, failed, they did, but um, I'm quite excited for this one, um, yeah, and I believe the next one after that is Lego DC Super Villains, which, to be honest, it's a good idea, but you don't want to go with Suicide Squad with it. Injustice 2, now, I know that recently, some of their some of their other phases got cancelled of what DLC they are going to be added, which is quite sad. I have no idea they're actually going to continue adding, but this year, um, releasing on the 29th of March and the 30th of March, hopefully by the time this has gone out, Injustice 2, the Legacy Edition, will be out on the usual consoles and mobile, etc. Now, this will have every single DLC, everything that they have pre-released, impact into this game. So, if you want all of it, get this. I haven't talked about it that much, but the Spider-Man game for the PlayStation 4 only um, has some rumours going around that it's going to be coming out um, this year, either on spring or summer. Now, I already know from a trailer that they said that they're going to bring it out in 2018, so hopefully it will actually come out this year and no delays will happen whatsoever. Yeah, I will be buying it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Addy Side Gaming Time. First of all, I'm probably not going to be able to say this again, but happy Easter everyone, uh, and have a good Friday. All links down below. Peace guys, see ya.